Hey y'all, and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. For today's video, we're doing a what I eat in a day. This is mostly healthy, just kind of what we are eating today and kind of the things that we've been eating lately. So before we get into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And drop a like on this video, it helps so, so, so much. All right, let's get into everything that I ate today. So the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is go put the water on in the kettle for coffee and warm lemon water. We just have this little Amazon basic electric kettle. It just brings the water to a boil fairly quickly. Nothing special. While the water is boiling, I will start making my breakfast. I usually either have a smoothie or oatmeal but since it's been cold lately I've been having oatmeal so I grab all the ingredients out for that the oats the maple syrup the cinnamon oat milk ground flax seeds I have some leftover toasted pecans so I got those out to put on top of it and a banana sometimes I'll do a banana oatmeal sometimes I'll do strawberry sometimes I'll do apple I just like to add fruit to my oatmeal and I had these really nicely ripe bananas so I grabbed one to throw in my oatmeal. Today I had some really ripe bananas so I went ahead and used one of those. The recipe for the oatmeal that I made here is going to be in the description. So usually I will only throw half a banana in there. I ended up throwing the whole banana in there today and then using a second one for on top, but usually I only throw half of it in there and then cut the other half on top. I just really wanted extra fruit and I didn't even end up eating all of the oatmeal. It was too filling, so I didn't need that extra banana. And then I just mash up the banana with a fork because I like it to cook into the oats. It makes it like really creamy and sweet. And while that's cooking, I'll get my lemon water ready. I actually didn't have any lemons today, so it's just warm water. I'll have to grab some more lemons when I'm at the store. I ran out making Caesar dressing earlier this week. With my warm water or warm lemon water, I take my vitamins. I take a women's probiotic and a B12. finish cooking my oatmeal and then I turn the heat off before I add my flax seeds because once I add the flax seeds it will make them really thick really quick so I go ahead and turn the heat off throw the flax seeds in there and that makes that soaks up any of the extra liquid And like I said, usually I would cut the other half of the banana on top, but on this day, I just added a whole another banana on top since I put a whole one in the oatmeal. And sprinkle those chopped toasted pecans on top. And then I move to the table where I bring my books and my bullet journal so I can read and look over my day. First thing I will read is that day's passage from the Daily Stoic and today was about morning rituals and questions that you can ask yourself in the morning to get your day going. So I'll read that passage while I start eating my breakfast and then once I'm done with that passage I will grab whatever book I'm currently reading. So right now I'm reading Midnight Sun. Don't judge me. I am about halfway through it now actually. And then either while I'm eating breakfast or after I am done, I will make the coffee. So the reason that I don't make the coffee before is that our kettle brings the water to a boil, but you don't brew coffee at boiling temperature. You brew it at a slightly lower temperature depending on what the coffee is. So we let the kettle sit there and cool down a bit before we make the coffee. And we just make coffee in this French press every day. It's 
make some of the best coffee ever. I've talked about the coffee that we buy. We get it from the farmer's market from the pecan farmer. So it's roasted with local pecans. It is the best. And I'll finish eating my breakfast or start getting ready if I'm already done with my breakfast while we wait while I wait for the coffee to finish brewing. And for lunch today, we had an Asian chopped salad. I know I've shown the one that I buy in a bag on this channel before, the one that I get at the grocery store. So this time, since we're trying to be at lower waste, I made it myself. I will also have the recipe for this linked down below. It's super easy and delicious, and I like to throw a little bit of the teriyaki tofu into this salad as well. It's really nice. Even when I was buying it in the bag, I would still throw some tofu in it just to give it a little extra, just to make it a little extra satiating. And I love that Whole Foods now has an oil-free sesame dressing that comes in a glass bottle. It is literally our favorite dressing. We always have it and I used that on this salad and it was so, so good. So I tossed that, threw it in some bowls and then sprinkled some sesame seeds on top. <laughs> excited to eat this salad, dancing around excited. We still have one more serving of it left, so I think we're gonna eat that tomorrow. And then for dinner, we had burgers. So we grabbed these Dr. Prager's California veggie burgers and we grabbed some potato knot rolls that we used as buns and I made some rice paper bacon. I will link that recipe down below because that was a video and it's so good. And some sweet potato fries. And we'll grab some Whole Foods brand Gouda cheese. There's some Swiss char on there from the farmer's market. Tomatoes and a little bit of Follow Your Heart Ranch. It's a little bit like a ranch burger. California ranch burger, it was very good. And then I also had that with a noon tab. It's just an electrolyte tab. And then for dessert, we had some of my cookie dough. Y'all have seen that on this channel many times. This stuff is literally the best and it's so good. It's such a good dessert because it's also super filling. So you can't really eat like a ton of it, but we just threw some marshmallows on there to, you know, add a little bit of sweet marshmallow because we have some and they're delicious. And that is everything that I ate today. It is Time for bed now. Kind of a typical day of eating, kind of not. We don't normally have something like burger for dinner. A lot of times we'll have more like Buddha bowl style things or stir fry, stuff like that. But um, he wanted burgers this week, so we did burgers a couple of days and we tried the um, Dr. Prager's burger patties and they were, they were pretty good. So not totally oil-free day of eating, but pretty close. Just a little bit in dinner there. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me, the vlog on Wednesday, videos on Friday, all of that goodness. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.